Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my March and April favorites. This is like overdue because I was supposed to do my March favorites last month, but it's fine. We're doing it now, that's all that matters. So my first favorite uh, for the month is a product that I talked about in my most recent, what video was that? Skincare video, my most recent skincare video, I talked about the products that I've been using on my skin that I feel like have really made a huge difference in my skin. Sorry, I have to take these bracelets off. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I've talked about this product before. It's really, really good for um, basically transforming your skin, making it more smooth, getting rid of dark spots, getting rid of large pores. Because it has lactic, lactic acid in it, a very high potency of lactic acid, it works really, really well and really, really fast. And I have no complaints at all. As soon as I started using it, maybe like two or three days later, I noticed a huge difference in my skin already. I've used this much of it. It's pretty good. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream by Sol Janeiro Cream for, this is the smaller version. There's a bigger version at Sephora that's $40. I believe this one was like 20, 15 or $20 in the um, try it section. The Devil's Playground is what I like to call it because they always try to make you buy stuff. This is just a cream that I've pretty much used a lot of. Oh, it smells so good. If anything, this cream is amazing because it smells amazing. Okay, so this is what it claims to do. It says it's a fast absorbing body cream, helps tighten and smooth like no other. I don't really notice it like tightening my skin or anything. I mean, my skin ain't loose. It's never been loose cellulite, stress marks, things like that. It's supposed to help decrease the visibility of those issues um, and make your skin smoother. I don't know if that actually works. It has caffeine in it and I can smell the caffeine in it. It does kind of smell like cocoa bean, coffee bean kind of. Um, so I definitely can tell that it does have caffeine in it, but I don't, I don't know if it actually tightens the skin. Uh, I like it because one, it has a very, very subtle shimmer in it. It just makes my skin feel juicy. I don't know. The hub loves it, how it smells and anything that smells good to him is good for me. I'm probably going to end up buying the full version of this because this cream. I actually bought some things from Sephora um, during the VIB sale. This is from Atelier. It is an Atelier Cologne. It is an Atelier Cologne, um, the orange sanguine. And I don't know, I really, really love this. This is the original one that I have and that's how much I have left of it. So as you can see, I use this a lot. This is my favorite mixer fragrance. Basically just a straight orange citrusy smell. It doesn't smell like anything else but citrus. I just, I love it. I always just spray this all over me when I wanna smell fresh and like I took a shower and I had my vitamin C for the day. It's literally like getting an orange and squeezing it on yourself. So I mix this with a lot of different fragrances to give it a punch. Another fragrance that I recently picked up from Sephora is the Replica Body Oil, but this is by Mason Margiela. This is one that I wanted to try. It's glow, it's supposed to boost radiance, and it has zesty and solar notes. So I don't know what that means, but it smells good to me. A little bit of citrus, just a little bit of spiciness. It is a dry oil, so it, it will last a little bit longer than a perfume because the oils mix with your oils in your body. So it kind of has this longer lasting effect, which I like because during the spring and summertime, when you're out and about, your fragrances tend to wear off faster when they are just the spray versions versus an, an oil-based one. Probably gonna like wear this out during the spring summertime. Sorry if I'm whispering, the camera's upstairs and he's on a conference call, so I'm trying not to be too loud and disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? We're hustling at the same time. I like it. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I've been using this like nonstop. I love this palette. It's really, really nice. Um, it's got a lot of really pretty like metallic colors at the top that I don't really use, which is funny because I bought the palette specifically for the shimmers. I ended up using the matte shades more than the shimmer shades. And I really, really like all of the matte shades. Like it's very, very rare that I use every single shadow in a palette. 
um, but I've used every single one of them. They work for so many different looks. Um, my everyday makeup look, I use this palette, so I'm excited to see what her next palette is gonna look like. Another product that I've been loving is the NYX Total Control Drops. This is a newer foundation that I've been trying out. This is a really good foundation. Um, if you like to build your own coverage, um, or if you like to wear full coverage, but sometimes you don't wanna wear full coverage, this is a good foundation for you because you can basically customize your own foundation and they have such a huge shade range and that's why I really like about this is that the shade range is massive like they have a lot of shades I actually use this to mix with MAC next to nothing foundation I feel like I can get a good customized foundation look with this I found an even more inexpensive version of this at the at Walmart <laughs> go figure the hard candy mix in pigment makeup drops so this is an even more inexpensive alternative to this this was 14 dollars and this one was i believe it was like seven or eight bucks it is a little bit more inexpensive however the shade range is not as big you probably won't be able to find the variety that you need which is why i feel like this is worth the money because of the shade range pick your battles would you rather spend less or get a better shade you know this becca golden hour soft light blurring powder and this is a setting powder this one is more of a peachy yellow color let me show you guys so yeah this is more of a peachy yellow golden powder it's not white so it won't give you flashback i like this powder okay i like it but i see why people don't like it. it it does kind of have a little bit of a patchiness to it if you don't blend it properly i really haven't figured out what it is about it that doesn't really work when it, you bake with it um i feel like for an all over setting powder it works really nice but it's a little bit patchy. I do like it though, and I love the packaging. I feel like the packaging is really, really pretty. I don't know. I don't know if it's a favorite or if I just like the way it looks. Now, another powder that I've really, really been liking is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the color Medium Deep. So this is the newer, darker version of the original translucent powder from Laura Mercier that everybody rants and raves about and loves so much. The only issue that I've ever had with that powder is that if you use too much, it does give a little bit of flashback. If you have issues with flashback, then you might want to reach for this. But what I like about this one, as opposed to other brown powders that I've used before, it's a lot more warm toned and for me, it matches my skin tone a lot better and it blends into my skin tone a lot better. It blends into my skin tone really, really nicely. So even though it's not necessarily my exact skin color, I don't get that burnt appearance. So I could actually wear it by itself as a light layer of coverage and just go out the door. I put the layer of this down first and then I'm able to see where I need the most amount of coverage and I go from there. So it helps to cut back on foundation. Love that and I also got the powder puff from Laura Mercier. It was $15 but I feel like it's worth it. You can wash it, it's dirty because I used it today but you can wash it and reuse it and I like the fluffiness of it and I don't know, I just, I really like this to set my foundation with. Another thing that I've been loving um, is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is the Pore Minimizing Primer. They sent me their PR box of all their primers and um, I was able to try all the different ones. This one is my favorite so far. This one is a smoothing primer but it also helps with oils as well. This one is very, very comparable to the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. Um, in fact, I feel like it's exactly the same and I really like it to smooth out my skin and make my face not so oily throughout the day. Um, so definitely love this primer a lot. There's this trend going around where people are wearing like different color highlighters. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like the different color highlighter trend. I feel like it's something different. I feel like if you want something different, if you wanted to try something different, try a different highlighter, right? And then I've noticed that a lot of the colorful highlighters that are coming out are in palette forms. So you have to buy like the whole palette. And I'm not really up for spending another $40 on another highlighter palette. You know what I mean? So I went through my little collection of highlighters that I already have and I found this bad boy. And this is Monster from ColourPop. And it is a pink iridescent kind of highlighter really really pretty i use it and it looks just like any other pink highlighter that's out on the market right now um so if you are looking for a pink highlight that isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg ColourPop has one i've been wearing that a lot lately if you guys can't tell my highlight is pink today um but another thing that i really like is this pressed powder palette and this is a blush and highlight 
duo and I don't remember the name of this but I really really like this highlight this highlight is really really pretty um, I've been layering it on top of like all my other highlights it gives you a nice peachy warm golden glow the blush is also pretty as well it's not too it's not too light it's actually the right amount of orange peachish orange to give me a good wash of color without looking washed out or anything. I wanted to mention this. I am gonna be talking about this in a whole separate video in my next VTalk video. Recently had my monthly uh, and, and Flo came and she visited and she definitely wrecked the whole house. But let me just say that this is a favorite. These are soft cups. Um, it is basically a menstruation product. Let's just say I'll never use a tampon again. I just wanted to mention those. If you wanna know what I really, really feel about these and how they work and what it is and what you do with it, where it goes and all that good stuff, I will be mentioning it in, mentioning it in my next VTalk video, which I'm probably gonna film within the next five minutes. My favorite apps for the month. Uh, I have a new app that I got actually in February that I've never really told you guys about and it is the Planoly app. Now there are other apps like this app that I'm probably going to try out because I mean I can use it a lot but it's not it doesn't do everything that I want it to do but if you've ever needed an app to plan out your um, Instagram let's say you are an Instagrammer you are a an influencer online and you need a way to plan out your Instagram and choose which pictures to go where if you have a certain aesthetic that you like um, I use this app basically to plan out you can pretty much select um, pictures that you want and you can move them around to where you want to put them so that just in case you know you want to see how your feed is gonna look before you actually upload a picture you can do that you can also upload pictures directly from the app you can set timers and reminders to let you know when to post you can have your captions and everything ready to go so you already know like what your instagram is going to look like before you actually post it um i really like that app i also have lately been obsessed with the facetune app if you guys don't already know about facetune i've had facetune for years now um, but they recently updated it and now they have new filters they have new edits that you can do so i really like the new filters on here so i've been using the feel playing with the filters a lot and i even have been like editing my pictures completely in facetune because mo most times i take my 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 pictures through other apps too like i'll use the inlight app to do a, the majority of my editing um but now i actually can do a little bit more with facetune so i've been liking that feature as far as favorites for my favorite things that are not beauty related um first of all i've been obsessed with this ivy park jacket like i've been wearing it non-stop i talked about this in my most recent fashion video i believe it was the um tips for shopping online video that i just did but i'm obsessed with this jacket like i literally wear it everywhere um because the weather in chicago is not all the way spring like sometimes it wants to be hot and then sometimes it's like cold and raining and this is my raincoat and i love it I just love it so much. Puma Basket sneakers. Uh, you guys have seen me wear these a million times. I posted them on my Instagram a million times since I got them. I have three different colors in these because I'm just that obsessed with these shoes. I mean, they're just so cute. Are they not adorable? I watched a couple shows in the past couple months that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So let's have a chit chat about that. I'm not a very avid TV watcher. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but when I do watch TV, it's mostly Netflix. So um, some Netflix shows that I've been watching uh, first would be the 13 Reasons Why series. I don't know if you guys have watched 13 Reasons Why, but I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about it because I feel like it's one of those shows that you need to see. I had to stop watching it a couple times because it was like triggering some experiences that I didn't want to go back to. Things that I didn't want to think about again. <laughs> had to take a couple breaks while I was watching it and just be like, okay. That was then, this is now. The Lord has redeemed you. It brought back some bad memories of high school. High school was a trip for me, but it's a really good show. I feel like everyone needs to watch it just because it'll really like make you think. It's pretty true to real life. Like that's how people think, you know? So you gotta have to be, you know, cautious of how you treat people, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, 13 Reasons Why was really good. I'm not gonna really tell you too much about it because I don't wanna ruin anything for you. If you haven't seen it, if you have dealt with depression or uh, suicidal thoughts or anything like that, I would be a little cautious while watching it because it definitely will trigger some feelings. Uh, so after I start wa stopped watching 13 Reasons Why, I needed a little pick-me-up. I needed something that was a little more light and not so heavy on my heart, you know? So I started watching Jane the Virgin 
which was very interesting to say the least. I actually finished and it's on TV right now. Season three is on TV right now. So I'm trying to catch up to season three. That is a funny show. The whole idea of the, the modern day telenovela. I used to watch novellas in high school. So um, it kind of like speaks to me in a way. It's very compelling. I cried a lot. If you guys have seen that, it's actually really funny. I've been watching that lately. Also, I finished the first season of Girl Boss. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not like Girl Boss. I wasn't a fan of it. I feel like the book was much better. Um, it, I feel like it could have been like a two hour movie. Like I feel like the whole show could be cut down into a two hour movie. There's just so much extra stuff that I really don't care about. Like backstory on the characters. It's very, it's very stretched, you know? They stretched it a lot. And I don't like all of the frill and fluff in between. That's just my take on it. But Jenna, who am I? Who am I? I'm just a little watcher. I'm not nobody important. Yeah, that's it for this favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'll do more favorites videos for you guys, of course, because I love favorites videos. Sorry for not doing one last month, but I don't know what happened. I got like sidetracked and lost. That's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. See you soon.